Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are cleaning up from my daughter's fifth birthday party. If you haven't checked out my party prep video for her unicorn birthday party, make sure you check that out after this video. But in this video, we are tackling the horrendous mess that remained after everyone left our house. So let's get into this. So we're going to start by working on the outside first just because there's daylight and I want to make sure I take care of everything here, especially since it's so windy. I don't want the trash to be blowing around everywhere. So we're taking down the table covers, throwing those away, as well as all the kind of floating trash around our backyard. I also will be taking down the little spiral decorations and I will be saving them because they do, you know, nicely fit in my tiny little storage box for birthday parties. I really don't know if we're going to have another another unicorn birthday party in the future and I like to save money where I can so for the time being these will be stored in my closet and if I need to get rid of them then I will but we'll see if we can get at least one more use or share it with a family member who wants to throw a similar themed party. So now that the outside is done, we're moving on indoors. As you can see, our treat table is pretty messy. There were a lot of cupcakes left because I made a whole bunch just in case we had extra people show up to our party. So I'm just kind of packing away the cupcakes and the remaining slices of the unicorn cake, kind of wrapping them in saran wrap and then freezing them. They will be good for, I wanna say a couple months, like in our freezer. So whenever we have guests, I'm gonna bring out cake and they can enjoy it then. After clearing off that table I wanted to move on to the rest of the kitchen get all the food put away just kind of anything that would kind of go bad if it was out any longer I wanted to make sure that was stored away and then we will be getting to actually like cleaning a little bit better So I was debating about saving this table cover. I really think it's pretty. It's like $3 at Walmart, but I didn't really want to deal with all the crumbs. And I, this was the second time I used it anyways. So I figured I would just throw it away and take out my trash while I was at it. And then we're going to be moving on to actually just cleaning this glass door because that's the way my mind works. It was like, okay, I threw out the trash. Now look, oh, this door needs to be cleaned. Let me go ahead and clean that now instead of actually finishing the kitchen. So I don't know if you guys are like that too. Maybe it's a mom thing. Maybe I have some undiagnosed issue, but I just kind of like was like, okay, got to clean the door. And then I will move on to the next thing that I see that needs to be done.
So after all of the dishes were put away and I wiped down our countertops, like everything was feeling nice in the kitchen at least, but then I decided to move on to our dining area where we moved our rug from the family area. I decided to go ahead and vacuum that because that had a lot of traffic and it like never fails. I always find like a goodie bag or like little toys under our treat table. And that's because the kids flock there and I think they hide under there and like eat all of the candy from the pinata and that's like their little secret spot and it's so fun for them but you know with every party I find little snacks and treats underneath that table and it goes like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. when I press play all I hear is you oh, oh. if you sing a song tell me but now the carpet is nice and vacuumed. This is a little pan of when it was more like sunny out, but this was the mess that was created during the party by all the kids, which is totally fine. They had fun and it's relatively easy to clean up. So I'm just packing up all of the blocks that the kids were playing with, putting things back in order. And then I will be kind of consolidating the tissue paper and gift bags. Again, I like to save money, so I like never buy gift bags. I just kind of save these. And then when the time comes, I find one that fits the occasion and use it and then I'm good. So we're folding up all the tissue paper and unwrapping some of Aubrey's gifts and like getting it all set up. This car, I don't understand why, why toys like this, they come so detailed but then they give you little stickers to put on and I'm like why can't you just make the toy with the design already there? That's one thing I just don't get. But my uh, camera kind of died, so it cut off some of the footage, but you get the point. I got Aubrey's gifts all set up and she was super happy. So this is where we're leaving it uh, the night of the party. The balloons are still up, but everything is like clean and livable. I did want to leave the balloon arch and like the treat table up because it just looks so pretty and it just kind of continued the fun the next day. This is the morning following the party and I didn't get a chance to like mop the floor the night before and I figured I would do it before you know getting the kids out of bed and all of that stuff just to make sure that the floor was nice and clean as we started to get into our normal routine again. Your head spinning too. 
so we've moved into the bathroom and I decided I'd go ahead and take down the decorations that I put on the mirror which was using Dollar Tree like wall stickers that are supposed to come off really easy from a wall. Well, my hope was that I could just transfer this to Aubrey's room and she could enjoy the unicorn decoration in her room and the bathroom could be like back to normal. As you can see, that wasn't going to happen. These stickers clung <laughs> to our bathroom mirror. I had to get a razor blade and scrape them off. I was afraid I would like scratch the mirror and ruin it and I was I didn't want Juan to get mad at me. So, I will never be using the Dollar Tree wall stickers on a mirror again. That being being said, I've used them on walls and they peel off fine and I love them. So I was really surprised and disappointed that it didn't work out. I mean, for the party it looked great, but removing it was a pain in the butt. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being like to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Next up, we are going to be taking down all of the ceiling decorations. So any of the remaining decorative spirals or balloons that I stuck to the ceiling will be coming down. Like I said, I'm saving the spirals for a possible unicorn party in the future. And the balloons just kind of got popped. So now it is time to take down the balloon arch. It's been up a couple days because I wanted to enjoy all of my hard work of actually setting it up, but I'm going to be popping the balloons, including the sound as requested by some of my viewers. But first I am going to remove the ones with confetti. I made sure not to use any of the little sticky glue pieces to secure like the small balloons to a confetti one, because when you try to pull it off or pop it, the confetti will go everywhere. And so, those I'm going to hand remove and then we'll get to popping. Now it's time to clean up the whole mess that this caused and Aubrey will get to play with the little confetti filled balloons for as long as they last. Hopefully they don't explode. One way that I normally deal with them when I am ready to pop them is I either cut a very small hole using scissors at the um, part right below the knot where there's not a lot of like tension. That lets the air leak out while keeping all the confetti inside 
And then I transfer the confetti to like a Ziploc bag to save for future table decorations for future parties. So when it gets time, I will do that with the confetti balloons, but I'm gonna let Aubrey play with these for a while. Maybe I'll show you guys as an overlay kind of what I do just for one of these guys, just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I love saving the confetti just because it, you know, it's an extra decoration that can last and it's not always just a one-time use. But for now, Aubrey will get to play with these balloons and so will Jack. I'm sure he'll be happy about that. So by now we have lived enough days with this table in party mode and not in regular living mode. So it was time to get everything back and set up and I figured I would vacuum the carpet again. It had been, you know, a, a couple days since the party and obviously I have kids. This carpet gets messy. They eat in the same kind of area. So it was due for another vacuum and I thought I would include that here since I enjoy watching the vacuum lines. I hope you guys do too. So moving on, we're going to take down the birthday banner. I mentioned in a previous video that I regretfully used Dollar Tree brand command hooks. They're clear. And every, when I tried to pull off the adhesive, I was pulling it down and it just ripped. And then I grabbed the little bit that remained and it ripped again. Well, when I took off the hook, it like ripped off a chunk of the drywall. And I was just like freaking out. I... I didn't know what to do with this because it, it took off like a legit quarter sized chunk. So I was extra careful with the other hook. It took me a long time. I was like pushing back and forth, really trying to loosen the adhesive because it also broke on me. And luckily I got the second one off without damaging the wall. But I broke out our paint, touched up the kitchen a little bit with areas that, you know, had little nicks or whatever. And I used some spackling to kind of make the wall look a little bit more normal. Juan never noticed, so I think I did a good job. <laughs> but it was not fun to to deal with that and have that happen so never using those hooks again on our walls ever but that kind of is the end of our cleaning for today's video you guys will get to see our new rug here in the family room so normally i vacuum our couch after a party that's going to be in another video but as you can see we're kind of back in school mode aubrey's stuff is on the whiteboard and we're just kind of ready to be back in like a normal setting before the fall halloween decorations need to be broken out and set up so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch you guys in the next one to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.